everybody, Pat Huntoon here from Technique Junkies, and today we're going to be making this fun masked background using um, one, a couple of different stamps. You can see it's pretty and glittery and masked. That's all one layer. That's not, that's not attached there. That's one layer, and it was fast and easy. And truthfully, it was a, a whole lot of fun. Whenever you're uh, stamping out beard glasses, how can it not be fun? So what we're using today is S747 Sudsy Stuff. Um, I think when we originally came out with this, we had Beach in mind, but um, hello, it's great suds. So that's what we're using for the background. And we're going to be using um, SD889 Life and Beer. And this is Life and Beer, similar chill for best results. Now, when you stamp this stamp, it comes out like that. Well, it, I call it that, obviously, but it comes out like that as far as how it stamps. But what we did to make this stamp that's what it looks like like that. What we did to make this stamp was cut off the beer glass. Now, when you get this, and you, you could certainly cut it off yourself, just cut it off. And I used my scroll saw because it's precision. That's how I cut, put cling mount on everything. We use a scroll saw. It's precision. So if you decide you like this technique and you would like me to cut your stamp before I mail it to you, you need to let me know in the comments of your ordering, okay? But not that you have to order it, but it's um, I'll do it for free for you. I'll just cut it off. You just need to let me know. Okay, so we're mainly going to be using the beer glass from this. So, and the, and the good thing is, if I ever want to stamp this again, it just fits right back in there. So I can just put it right back in there and stamp it and put it in my Misty and stamp it. So it, it is not, hasn't ruined the stamp. It just changed it a little bit. So what I'm going to do to start is stamp the sudsy stuff and I'm going to be working in my um, in my stamp positioner the whole time because it will help hold everything down and the magnets truthfully help very much with this technique using the magnets to hold things down okay so I'm just gonna pull my magnets apart I'm gonna put the sudsy stuff on here where I want it upside down on here I'm just gonna position it and I made my paper a little bit bigger than it needed to be um, just because it is easier that way. And I'm going to be using fossilized amber distress ink. Distress ink and fossilized amber. So now I'm going to take the beer glass and I'm going to stamp it on black. And one thing you have to remember when you are stamping and masking, whatever you want in front is what you have to uh, stamp first. So you have to think backwards. Usually when you stamp things, they go on top of other things that are stamped and they look like they're sequentially stamped. But this way it's actually backwards. So you have to think a little backwards. If you look at this and you see how this beer glass is on up front and center and then glasses after that. Now this is probably the last one I stamped last on this one so it is underneath everything but it's just the masking effect so let me show you what I mean so I'm gonna put that in the misty I'm actually using stays on I'm gonna ink that with stays on stamp it okay and then the next step is to create a mask so I'm just going to be using a little scrap piece of paper here Put it over it and put it in again and then I'm going to cut this out quick. I'm going to be using the magnet, the other magnet that I have here and using that to hold down everywhere I'm masking. Now I'm going, just simply going to mask that, put that right over the top of that first beer glass and it's okay if you see a little black line along the edge. And then I'm going to move this again. Now I did not clean the stamp off, so there should be a little shadow when it lifts off. That's not to alarm anyone. So I'm just gonna put that there over the top of the other one. And now I'm going to ink this with perfect. So they're overlapping just a little bit there. Now I'm gonna put the next one, move that that same one over and move my magnet and put my third glass on there. My third glass, I think I'm gonna really overlap them quite a bit, maybe like that. Of course, I need to turn that upside down and put that down. 
So as, as long as you're not lifting it up and moving it around too much, you don't really need to clean it in between the, um, the masking and stamping process. So basically, I'm going to do that all the way across the card. See, there's the third one. I'm going to do that all the way across the card. And there are circum certain circumstances, depending on where you're putting the, um, the beer glass, that you may want to cut a second mask, and that's okay to cut it. It's just a, what you have to do. And close that and ink that. And I am, for the sake of brevity, so you don't have to watch me go all the way across and do that, I am going to show you this last one on this side, and then I'm going to stamp the rest, and but you get the idea there, and then show you how I colored this, because I think you pretty much have the idea of how it is masked. You're just going to do the same thing along the other edge. I'll be right back with the finished um, masked the, well, not the finished piece, but the mask piece. Take this out of the misty now, and I'm going to show you. Isn't that fun? Just a bunch, a whole bunch of beer glasses there, and I'm going to show you how I colored these because the coloring part of these is quite a bit of fun. So I'm just using two distress markers, and I'm going to be using the Aqua Shimmer Glitter Gloss, the Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Glitter Gloss, which are these, and come in a pack of two. And um, I've done other videos on these, but what you should know is you see how that they have this, this yellow uh, separator there. You want to pull that separator out and hold on to it and then use them without the separator. When you're done, put the separator back in. I'll start with one. I'll walk, talk my way through it, and then I will do the rest of them in, in quick time so you don't have to watch me in real time. I'm just going to put some amber in here because we have some lager going on. I'm going to do some amber. A little bit of amber color and then I'm going to add some antique linen just go around I'm going to leave the center portions a little bit of open and then I'm just going to take the aqua shimmer and kind of kind of use that like a blending pen but it adds this really cool coat of glitter to it and all of my suds you notice I'm wiping off the tip here all of my suds are going to be shimmery so I'm just adding a bit to the suds. So I just want to show you that up close in camera with the camera so that you can maybe see the shimmer on that a little bit. Can you see the shimmer on that? Not sure it's catching it. But it's super, super shimmery and glittery, um, which makes these beer cups a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and color the rest of these, and I'll be right back at you. Okay, so there you have it. I have um, shimmering beer glasses, right, just ready for a sentiment on my background. So that's the tutorial. I'm just gonna put a couple of sentiments on this and call it a day. It, as you can see, it was a fast and easy card. Masking is not so scary. And um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to our other rubber stamp video tutorials. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming by today. 